Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or wherever you may be today. So, a little bit of an unconventional taste test and review today. As you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere, just with a road, some bushes, some trees, a forest, some fields, a bit of everything, really, and a lot of cars. So hopefully, when these cars are passing, it doesn't disturb the audio too much. And the reason for this is pretty simple. And that is that we are taking the car for annual service. So we've got some time to kill. So I thought while well, we've got some time to kill, let's get some videos done. Now there should be a quieter spot here in a couple of hundred yards so hopefully we can find that location so we can settle down and do our taste test and review but it's pretty hot and pretty humid so let's see um just out of curiosity I autofocus finds my eye with the sunglasses on so wow pretty much surprised and it looks like the exposure working pretty well as well for all you bone butts and so today and let me deal a little bit with this exposure that's a little bit better so today we're going to review and taste test uh an energy drink but not your normal run-of-the-mill energy drink this is purdy's energy and purdy's energy is known for being natural so it is a natural energy drink and that's what it says purges natural energy and this is the grape and apple flavor with jinxen now let's have a look at what we have in here because this is going to be slightly different than usual we have per can which is 250 mils and i like it that the calories and nutrients are done per can rather than per 100 mils we have 50 calories zero fat zero saturates 10 grams of sugar zero grams of salt so per 100 mils, 20 calories, not too bad if I do say so myself. What else we got here? It is sparkling, 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 sparkling according to the can. And it is a carbonated multivitamin fruit drink with sweetener. And the sweeteners are also natural in its source according to this. So it's free from artificial sweeteners, flavorings, colors and preservatives with vitamin B12, B3, B6, B12 combined to normal energy yielding, yielding, yielding metabolism and reduction of tide. There's vitamin C as well. So turning the can around, let's have a look at this. Just checking if the exposure is not too bad. I'm sure I can bring those shadows up. So per can we have, we mentioned the, uh, the macros already. Vitamin C, B1, B2, B3, B6 and B12 and all of them i can see pretty equally balanced at 18 percent of recommended daily intake allowance as for the ingredients we have carbonated water fruit juices from grape juice 25 percent apple eight percent and some oak bark eight percent almost nine percent of chinese ginseng some acids natural flavorings with vitamin bcs and steviol as the sweetener now obviously there's going to be no caffeine content because there is no caffeine so let's um, open it up and see number one I'm tired so we'll see how it works but number two I am parched and thirsty because it is extremely hot and humid today so let's go for the smelly test first of course now that I'm going full power with this video traffic had to increase so smell test I get the grape I get the apple but it's very mellow and subdued the I mean if you've tried carbonated water before or ever smelt sparkling carbonated water or spark you know what I mean it's there's a specific smell to it and this is the initial kind of smell I get and then only afterwards I get the apple and grape pretty much in equal proportions I would say so let's open the hatch hole and give it a taste oh 
Now, I am thirsty, like I said. This is a pretty small can. It's like the Red Bull small can. So this is gonna go down pretty quickly. Um, and what am I getting? I'm getting quite a bit of sour apple. So not, it's not sweet. It's more of a sour taste. That sourness is then kind of magnified if, to a point because it's carbonated water is the ingredient in there. And then a little bit of the grape, I'm not gonna lie, but you have to look for it. But it is pretty refreshing. And because it's not too sweet, and my opinion only, I don't like drinks which are too sweet because they're sickly. And I'm looking for something like bitter lemon, so this is definitely fresh refreshing a little bit of that sour pinch it also gives that freshness in my opinion so i would highly recommend it if you're only going for natural stuff then i would yes highly recommend it because it's all natural ingredients not like the, all the other energy drinks so definitely if you like sweet energy drinks then no i wouldn't recommend it for you but that's going to cap it off for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one everybody goodbye for now